Imagine this. What if with just a few lines of code, you could create a completely different light show? Sounds like magic, right? But it's actually the power of coding. In today's video, we are going to show you how small changes in your code can create stunning LED chaser patterns and unleash the potential of Arduino programming. So, let's get started. For this project, we'll need an Arduino UNO board. Small bread board. 12 LED. 12 to 20 ohm resistors. Some male to male jumper wires. A USB cable. A battery holder. Two lithium ion batteries. Let's wire everything up. First of all, take the Arduino and breadboard. Now take LED. Each LED has two legs. The shorter one is negative or we can say cathode and the longer one is positive, that is anode. Connect the long leg of each LED on this side of the breadboard and shorter legs to this side, making sure each LED is in a separate row. To protect our LED, let's add a 220 ohm resistor to each one. Connect the short leg of each LED to the resistor and then connect the other end of the resistor to the ground rail of the breadboard. These resistors limit the current going through each LED, ensuring that they don't burn out. Take male to male jumper wires and connect the longer leg of each LED to the respective pin on the Arduino. First LED to pin 2, second LED to pin 3, and so on until 12th LED to pin 13. Finally, connect the ground GND pin of the Arduino to the ground rail of the breadboard. This completes the circuit and provides a path for current to flow. Make sure to double check your connections with the circuit diagram. Now, download the code files given in the description below. Open the first code file for your LED chaser project in the Arduino ID. We start by defining variables for each LED. Each variable represents the pin number to which the LED is connected on the Arduino. For example, LED1 is connected to pin 2, LED2 to pin 3, and so on. This setup ensures we can control each LED individually. T is a delay variable to control the speed of the chasing effect. In the setup function, we configure each LED pin as an output. This is done using the pin mode function. This tells the Arduino that these pins will send signals to the LED to turn them on or off. Next is the loop function where the magic happens. Here, we define how the LED light up one by one, creating the chasing effect. We use digital write to turn each LED on one at a time, with a small delay between them. This creates the illusion of movement. After turning the LED on in sequence, we reverse the process to turn them off one by one. By adding this, we ensure the chasing effect goes both forward and backward. We repeat the process to create additional patterns, where the LED light up in different sequences. This adds variation to the LED chaser, making it more dynamic and visually appealing. And that's it. Now, connect the Arduino UNO to your computer using the USB cable for uploading the code. Select port and board in the same menu and select Arduino UNO. Now click on the upload button. Once you upload this code to your Arduino, You'll see the LED turn on and off in a sequence, creating that cool chaser effect. You can easily adjust the speed of the chase by changing the delay value to make the LED chase faster or slower. Now open the second code file. Each LED X represents a pin on the Arduino where an LED is connected. We assign each LED a different pin 
starting from pin 2 to pin 13. He defines a short delay for each LED to turn on and off. Y defines a longer delay used in the final section of the code where LED are turned off in a specific sequence. Here, we set each of the LED pins as an output because we will be turning the LED on and off. The loop function will continuously runs and controls the LED in a specific pattern. First sequence in which LED turn on one by one. Each LED is turned on means high and there's a delay of t milliseconds before the next LED is turned on. This creates a sequential light up effect starting from LED 12 down to LED 1. Second sequence in which LED turn off one by one. After the LED light up, they are turned off one by one in the reverse order, starting from LED 12 down to LED 1. Third sequence in which LED turn on again. The LED are turned on again in a forward sequence from LED 1 to LED 12. Fourth sequence in which LED turn off again. The LED are turned off again in a reverse sequence, starting from LED 12 down to LED 1. Fifth sequence in which LED light up again in the same order. This sequence is similar to the first one, lighting up the LED in reverse order, starting from LED 12 to LED 1. Final sequence in which all LED turn on simultaneously. All LED are turned on at once, and they stay on for 3 seconds delay 3000. Turning off LED in pairs. The LED are turned off in pairs, with a longer delay y milliseconds between each pair being turned off. This creates a wave effect where LED go out in pairs. Final cleanup in which all LED are turned off, and the program waits for 2 seconds before restarting the sequence. In the previous code, we lightly work with simpler patterns. Now upload this code in the same circuit and see the output as power of coding. We are also providing a third code file for a more interesting LED chaser effect. Try that code also and tell us in the comment section below if it is interesting or not. Now make the circuit portable by powering the Arduino using the battery pack. Switch it on. That's it for today's LED chaser project. I hope you found this tutorial helpful. Thanks for watching our tutorial.